What is up guys, Marf Talks Wrestling here, and welcome to my WWE Monday Night Raw results review. And you're wondering, this doesn't look like my room, where are you? Well, whoops, um, I am at work. Yes, I am currently wearing my uniform. I'm also wearing my, uh, Seth Rollins shirt underneath. Um, yeah, I'm at work, guys. I'm just, <laughs> I'm not allowed to be doing this, but I found a room. The door is locked, and if I hear someone coming, I can just easily shut off the camera. I really hope no one from my work is watching, because if they are, well then, I'm screwed. Anyways, guys, I'm here to bring you my live reactions, or my my review of WWE Monday Night Raw, August 22nd, 2016. It was actually not that bad of a show. I can't really say anything negative about it, except for a few spots here and there. Um... But yeah, I'm here with the results. Let's get straight to it. First up, we have the biggest down of the show. Finn Balor. He got injured. He got a sh uh, shoulder injury. Much respect to him for finishing the match yesterday. Or rather on Sunday. Um, he was forced to relinquish. Reforced to relinquish the WWE Universal Championship. And he, I'm surprised. I was actually smiling. Shouldn't you be sad you're giving you're being forced to relinquish a world title? Apparently he was happy he did not have to carry that ugly red strap around. Um, it was it's a terrible looking belt. Um, but yeah, Finn Balor was forced to relinquish it. Um, sad, really sad news. We won't see him possibly for six months. It's gonna be a sad six months without Finn Balor. I really hope those. Six months go by quickly. I really hope he does not miss WrestleMania because if he does, it's going to be a huge, huge bummer. But yeah, I'm really sad over that and it's going to be, it's not going to be fun without him. Well, um, after Finn Balor went to the back, Seth Rollins came out, then out came Sami Zayn, Kevin Owens, Chris Jericho... And Roman Reigns? With the little jump cut, like I said, um, a guy from the janitor just, well, the janitor just came, so, uh, I'm really cool with him, he understands what I'm doing right now. Um, but anyways, uh, yeah, Roman Reigns came out. Why? What was the point with him in the United States Championship, um, storyline? What, what was the point with him and Rusev? There was no point to it. Literally no point, because now he's getting a world title shot. So there were three different matches, right? No, there were four different matches. Seth Rollins versus Sami Zayn, Kevin Owens versus Neville, Big Cass versus Rusev, and and Chris Jericho versus Roman Reigns. Uh, these people won. Seth Rollins, Kevin Owens, Big Cass, and Roman Reigns. They all won their respective matches. So they're all going to be put in the Fatal 4-Way to determine the next, the new Universal Champion. And then up next, we have Big E versus Carl Anderson. After that really rubbish match la uh, the night before at SummerSlam, it was not. It was stellar. Well, Big E defeated Carl Anderson after hitting the big ending. Um, I'm still pretty pissed over that SummerSlam match with Jon Stewart. Um, so, yeah, really, that's all that happened. Up next, Titus O'Neill calls out Darren Young, and I, I'm starting to figure out why. Darren Young, I mean, why Titus O'Neil is not going to cut promos anymore for the rest of his life. He should not be cutting any more promos for as long as he lives. That was, that promo was absolutely awful. He did not know what he was doing out there. He was completely stuck. I feel bad for him, but that's the sad truth. Also, keep in mind, the only reason I'm filming my results and review on my phone is because, for some reason, Windows Movie Maker is being a dick to me. I mean... I make videos on there all the time. So for some reason, something went wrong, and my webcam just randomly freezes. You, you should see it in my SummerSlam results and review. It just freezes, and then the whole audio ends up being off sync, and it's absolutely terrible. I really want to know how to fix it. If you, any of you guys can tell me how to fix it, please let me know on Twitter. I'll greatly appreciate it. Thank you. Anyways, up next, Mick Foley announces um, WWE's new assignee. Who's, who is it? Bailey. WTF. Bailey made her main roster debut on Monday Night Raw. 
defeating Dana Brooke and ho 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 Dana Brooke she is just she is just awful man she's just the ter the worst wrestler ever oh my gosh wow she is awful then up next another damn squash match Braun Strowman versus Johnny Knockout guess who won I can't Really remember who won that match? Um, Johnny Knockout apparently before the match. Well, Byron Saxon was at, was asking him, "Why the hell are you doing this?" And then Johnny Knockout said, "I like big sweaty men." Anyways, Braun Strowman just kicked his ass, just kicked his ass with the reverse choke slam thing, and uh, yeah, that's it. And then we had the retirement for the Dudley Boys. I thought they were going to do like this whole Dudley Boys are splitting up. They were saying, no, we can't do it anymore. We have to retire. They ended up doing a, a very emotional retirement speech in their hometown of Brooklyn because they were actually from here. They were trained um, in the world of unpredictable wrestling. Johnny Rods, that's where I'm going when I turn 18. Uh, so yeah, but that was possibly the worst way to send off the Dudley boys. Honestly, the Shining Stars out there, okay, they get put through a table. Great way to send them off, but then Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson come out and just beat the hell out of them. Why? Please tell me that's not how they're going to send off the Dudley boys. I really hope there's more, more to this, because really that's it. And that's it for my Raw Results Review. What do you guys think of Monday Night Raw? Tell me down in the comments below. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at the underscore real Marv. Um, anything else? Oh yeah, any support such as liking, sharing, and subscribing is greatly appreciated. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace.